guys, this is Kelsey and Kathy from Frankly Natural Beauty, and today we're going to be making an aloe vera soap with real aloe vera and lush succulent fragrance oil from Brambleberry. And before we go and make this beautiful soap, Thank you so much for watching this channel. If you're new to our channel, please give, uh, subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up at the end of the video if you like it. We appreciate it. Appreciate every everyone that watches this channel. All right, so let's go and make this fabulous soap. Let's get soaping. Hi guys, this is Kathy, and uh, today I have a new recipe I'm using. I actually used this recipe, this recipe before uh, a little while ago and I really like it the way it came out. It's beautiful. I didn't use the real uh, aloe vera gel in there. I used the store bought before, but this is actually the real aloe vera gel. Mm -hmm. after, I'm, after I'm done blending with the oils and the lye well, a solution, I will show you how we extracted the aloe, gel, uh, aloe vera gel and we're using uh, real aloe vera juice in our life solution. Okay, so the recipe that I have today has cocoa butter, olive oil, palm oil, coconut oil, avocado oil, almond oil, and, and a little bit of uh, manuka honey in there, aloe vera gel, the real thing, and aloe vera juice. Alright, and we're going to use this beautiful fragrance oil from uh, Brambleberry here. It's uh, the Lush Succulent and we also using uh, Brambleberry's um, greens. Uh, we have a Kermit green and which one is this one? This is the Kelly green and I have one more here that I really love is the Aqua uh, per, uh, Mica from Brambleberry. So those three Micas are really cool. They're one of my favorites. And I made this really cool succulents from Melt and Pour. So these are glycerin soaps, they're going to go on top. Alright, so... And Kelsey's going to give you guys a little bit of uh, information about the, um, the aloe vera. Why is it cool to have aloe vera soap, Kelsey? Okay, so aloe vera has antioxidants, enzymes, vitamins A and C, and is highly anti-inflammatory. So it's good for acne, right? It's great for acne. It's also good for burns and dry skin. All right, awesome. All right, so before I start this, I am going to strain it because my aloe vera juice has a little bit of a gunk in there and I don't like it. I don't know if I want it in my soap. Kelsey, can you please help me out and get my strainer? Thank you so much, hon. All right, so we're going to strain this. strain it. Okay, so I'm going to strain this directly in the oils here. See what I mean? It has a little bit of a thing because I think a cube... I actually fr uh, froze the aloe vera juice and I think a cube actually had aloe vera gel in it. And that's okay. It doesn't matter. Actually, it's pretty cool. Pretty good stuff. So we're going to Make sure this will strain beautifully. All right. There we go here. I'm going to put in there some of that. All righty. This aside, and we're gonna do this. I'm gonna blend this, and I'll be while I'm blending this, uh, we're gonna show you how we did extracted the aloe vera uh, pulp from the leaves. Okay, from the aloe vera leaves. So we'll move back in a second.
Okay, so now I here have a aloe vera gel, and I'm gonna put it right in my soap batter because it's rich in trace. See how it is? It's like really jelly. Looks like a hair gel. Mm -hmm. Fun fact: you can use it as a hair gel. You can. Mm-hmm. That's kind of weird though, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? Would you? Did well, you... personally, I tried it. I didn't use the 100% pure kind, but I used the kind that comes in the bottle that's clear, that's unscented. Really? And I, it's 97% pure, and I just took some of it, put in my hair, brushed my hair after I put it in, mm -hmm. and then no flyaways. Hmm. Okay, and I'm just going to blend it a little bit. Oh, look at that. It's making the soap jelly. <laughs> the soap water. Okay, so now I'm going to make, I mean I'm going to make, I'm going to put this beautiful succulent Dragon soil in here. And I never use this one, so I hope it doesn't do anything weird. <laughs> well, we'll find out, right? And I don't want to blend it too much because it's already getting kind of a uh, medium trace. So, And I want to do a drop swirl today. So I'm going to do this by hand. Make sure that all the fragrance oil is incorporated in the soap. Ooh, let's see, is it rising? I think it's rising a little bit. Mm, well, it must be the gel. That oh, looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to use those three colors and I'm going to have a little bit of a white. here on top. The main color is going to be kind of like a creamy white and the rest is going to have a drop squirrel with the three greens. Hmm. All right. I think this is good so I'm going to split it in three parts. Just going to highball it. So I'm going to put in those three containers here. Can you see, Kelsey? Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's do this. Okay, I'm going to be move, moving stuff around a little bit. Let's see what's the...
and I'm going to smack it down to make sure that there are no bubbles in there, air bubbles. We don't want air bubbles. Oh, I'm making a mess. <laughs> Very messy here. Okay, so I'm going to smack it down. I'm going to clean up a little bit because I made a mess. I'm not going to see a lot of the design, but I want to put something on it because, you know, I just like it. guys on top of course these are gonna be cut they're not gonna stay there like that but they're still cool right Kelsey mm -hmm. Gonna adjust them a little bit, and there we are. And I'm not gonna use any glitter or nothing that like that. Just very simple top, like that. And we have, uh, and we're done with this one. And we're gonna wait about a day, maybe 24 hours, or uh, 24 hours to 48 hours, depends. How it goes. This is a you know a different batter than we usually uh, make our soap with, so it should be ready in about a day or so. All right, guys, we're back, and it's been about 24 hours, and our soap is ready to be cut. So let's find out what's inside. All right, so let's do the first bar. Oh, look at that! That's pretty cool. That's the first one. Can mm -hmm. you see that, Kelsey? Looks great. <laughs> All right. It's a pretty nice bar, huh? That's the first one. So let's get going. Okay, so that's the second bar. And let me show you inside. And you can see those little things. It's gelled a little bit. And uh, has... That's a little bit of a, I am not sure if that is um, part of the aloe vera gel probably and uh, because I put a little bit of a manuka honey in there but look at the swirl that's pretty cool huh? Mm -hmm. Alright, it looks really nice. It gelled a little bit but, but uh, it also has a little bit of glycerin rivers and I didn't use a lot of uh, I didn't use a lot of uh, what you call titanium dioxide, so I don't know. Look at this one, Kels. Mm -hmm. This one is a really cool one. Look at that. This is one side, and this is the other side. Isn't that pretty or what? Mm -hmm. Alright, so here we go. So this soap's going to be uh, available pretty soon in about a month from now in June and next one oh look at that that looks kind of like an aloe vera flowers <laughs> kind of though what do you think yeah it does that's pretty cool that's a really cool design came out really good more than better than what I expected all right 
almost I'm very pleased with this soap. Yeah. yeah, but I'm just gonna cut now. Okay, do I stop? Mm -hmm. No. I'm just gonna cut and. Okay guys, so that's what they look like. I think they came out really good. This is, it smells amazing. Oh my gosh, I love this fragrance oil. It is beautiful and it behaves really well. So if you guys want to use it in your cold process uh, soap making, you know, the lush succulent from Rumbleberry is a great fragrance oil. It smells amazing and behaves very well. Okay, so these soap bars going to be going on the rack to cure and are going to be ready in June. And we're going to post it on Facebook and Instagram. And you guys, if the, you guys don't follow us on Facebook or Instagram, uh, you, uh, please do because we post a lot of stuff there. And also, we post when everything is ready to go in our shop in Buckley, but you can also buy these on Facebook. We're going to post them on Facebook in our shop. And also we're working right now on our website and these going to be available in June there too. Alright, I hope everybody enjoyed this video and please, if you liked it, give us thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope everybody is okay and safe. You guys have a wonderful day. See you guys on the next video. Bye.